Hello, welcome to LLO Gamers and welcome back to my Tech It Tutorials. Uh, in the last video we upgraded my power supply, uh, got the MFEs installed and a medium voltage solar array. But since doing that I've had a cool idea of how I'm going to upgrade to the next level pretty quickly. And um, yeah, just try and get to a high voltage solar array. Um, they notoriously take forever to craft because you have to make about 500 solar panels. That's why people go for the crazy automated machines that are like the one that Louis was trying to build. But I've got an idea how I'm going to do it slightly differently. Uh, I'm going to use the project tables that Louis showed us about in the video I did with him. So uh, yeah, if you uh, have a look at this monstrosity over here, I've got a load of project tables all with the different things I need to craft to get all the way up to the high voltage solar array. So if you look in here, you've got your copper cables because you need a hell of a lot of them. You've got some electronic circuits being built in that one. Machine blocks, RE batteries. See it goes all the way along. You've got generators in that one which obviously go in here which makes the actual solar panels. And as you can see, I've been filling up all of these so that I can basically just shift click here and get, like, if I shift click there, I'll get two stacks of solar panels, basically, the way I've loaded this all up now. So I'm getting there. Got a low voltage transformers being built in that one. There's your actual low voltage solar arrays. Come up here. You've got medium voltage transformer, medium voltage solar array. But then uh, I've got one for energy crystals here because you need energy crystals to make the high voltage transformer which is the next step. If you also look in here we've got a new cable that we need to make which is the insulated high voltage cable. That's the four times insulated high voltage cable but because we haven't made that before if you come over here I've got some more project tables that basically show you the recipes for them. You get a bit of refined iron surrounded by some rubber for your insulated high voltage cable and then if you put those with rubber, two bits of rubber, you get the four times insulated high voltage cable, which is a bit weird because technically it would only be three times, but anyway. But with this one, you can basically put them anywhere. It doesn't really matter where you craft it. It still makes the same, which is pretty handy. So then I come back over here. So that was that. That's the energy crystal, that new cable. Use the old medium voltage transformer as well and an electronic circuit and that will make you the high voltage transformer which is what you put in the middle of the recipe for the high voltage solar array. So obviously I need to get a few more of these medium voltage ones. I've already made a couple of the high voltage transformers ready. But yeah basically the way I've got it at the moment I'm pretty much ready so that just after a few clicks I will be able to have my first high voltage which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to I'm going to do it now, I think. If I go into this one, as I said, if I shift click here a couple of times, that's one stack, two stacks of solar panels. So obviously it's taken me a hell of a long time to get those resources that you saw in there. I mean there's a lot of I mean the rubber and stuff and the refined iron. I've got all these temporary things I set up here. So this one, I had loads and loads of sticky resin going into the extractor here. This whole thing was full up with rubber at one point. Uh, here, at the moment, I've had a load of refined iron cooking through. It looks like that's finished at the moment. In fact, I might stick a bit more iron in here. So that can do as well. And this one in here, I had... I mean, these are all temporary. I just sort of bodged it into that lot of pipe just so that they weren't going to overflow but this one's been doing the coal dust from the macerator I've got loads of that so yeah so now I got my uh, two stacks of solar panels so if I whack them in this one shift click here I should get what is it I think 16 low voltage solar rays out of that yeah there we go 16 so if I bring them up to here Put them in this one. Two more medium voltage. So I'm very close now. So if what you can see, what I can do, if I go back to here, I can actually take this one out 
obviously, because I've already got it crafted in there. So if I stick that one in, I only need one more medium voltage solar array, which if you remember, I have one of those on my roof. So I'm going to go and get that and get everything else I need to get ready and then I'm going to show you the next step. Hello, so I'm back. I've got my uh, last medium voltage solar array. I've also got all the other junk I'm going to need for making the MFSUs and such. And uh, the MFSU is the uh, upgraded version of the MFE and the bat box. It's the high level version so it will take the power that the high voltage solar array gives out. So I'm going to need to make four of them. I've got uh, four MFEs here. So I'm going to do the same setup basically that I've got over this side. But over here I'm going to move these chests I think. And I'm going to have the high voltage ones up there. And all the MFSUs coming down this side. So right, if I go here and put in my last medium voltage solar array. There we have it. My first ever high voltage solar array. So, lovely stuff. Right, in order to make the MFSUs, we need to make a few new things that we've not done before. So, first of all, we need advanced circuits. I'm going to make five of those. To do that, you uh, have an electronic circuit in the middle. You get glowstone dust, the top and bottom. You want some lapis, the left and right. And then in the corners, you stick redstone. So if I do that round there, we now have advanced circuits. So I'm going to get all, all five of those that I can make. Take that stuff out. Then we want advanced machine blocks. So for those, you put your machine blocks in the middle. You use advanced alloys, top and bottom, and carbon plates, left and right. And there you have advanced machine blocks. Uh, another thing we need to make, we need to make some Lapatron crystals. Uh, so let's see if I can remember how we do those. Uh, it's redstone in the middle for these. Electronic circuits, top and bottom. And then we need a load more lapis. down the sides and that's not right what have I done wrong right, I worked out what I'd done wrong uh, it's not redstone in the middle it's energy crystals in the middle so I've gone and made a load of those so there we go Lapatron crystal and obviously this is one of those things that don't stack so I'm gonna have to make them all singly and I need quite a lot so I'll come back to you when I've made a load of those so, now I've got all the Lapatron, Lapatron crystals I need to make my four MFSUs. As you can see, that's quite a lot. Because, yeah, you need six on each one down the sides. You put your MFEs in the middle. Then you put um, the, your advanced circuits at the top. And your advanced machine blocks at the bottom. And that should be, there you go, MFSUs. So I've got four MFSUs, I've got a load of glass fibre cable, and I've got my high voltage solar array. So now I'm going to have a bit of a mess around, move some of this crap and get it all ready to plumb in. Right, so I've had a bit of a clear out over here, moved my chests and stuff. Uh, I've got under here, took out the glass fibre cables that were connecting the um, energy link underground because I've got some under this way now so I want the energy link to be powered from this lot uh, which is fine because the energy link will accept any power I believe, or at least so the wiki tells me uh, <laughs> so uh, let's find out but yeah what I'm going to do because if I want these machines to use it at any point it'll have to be stepped down twice not just using the low voltage transformer here, I need the medium as well so I'm leaving plenty of space so instead of having them below each other like that I've set it up so I'm going to have them either side and have the pipe going down here to the floor leaving me the space to uh, step it down if I need to I've already put the top two in in exactly the same positions 
that they were upstairs. So there's one just up there and one on the roof. So now if I uh, put these two here, and I'm going to have them pointing down as well, then I can have these cables coming out of here and meeting up here. Right, I'm not going to collect that completely, I'm just going to test it's all working first. So now basically I need to wait for day and uh, plumb it all up to see what's happening. What I'm going to do, with all the stuff that I've got left around, I don't think uh, all the stuff in here and the stuff made up in these chests, I don't think I've got enough to make another high voltage yet, but I'll be able to get a few medium voltage, so I'm going to put those back up this side where that is so that the MFEs are still going to be getting filled up with medium voltage and the MFSUs will be getting filled up from the high voltage so these can run these and for now this is just going to be running the energy link until I get some other cool stuff going that is going to use the high voltage but yeah so uh, uh, there's someone else on the server at the moment so I can't just sleep uh, so uh, I'll be back in a bit Right, so it's starting to get light now. I'm up on my roof. Got my MFSUs this side, my MFEs this side. Uh, while I was waiting, I quickly made two more of the medium voltage solar arrays using my uh, wall of death, or wall of project tables as it would actually be called. But um, yeah, so I'm basically ready now. So I've got two medium voltage, one high voltage. Stick the medium voltage here by the MFEs. My high voltage can go here. High voltage solar array, it's getting some sun. These bad boys are working. Right. So let's go and have a look. Right, this has started working again, because obviously I had no power on this side because my machines were running, my quarries had been running, I'd turned the energy link off now, but it all, oh, I'm lagging out slightly. But anyway, right, so this bottom one is filling up nicely, filling up a lot quicker than it was before, even though this electric furnace is running with four overclockers, it's still uh, building up some power here, because I've got double the amount, because I've got two of them, and these MFSUs, these actually hold 10 million EUs, these MFSUs. So the bat boxes were 40,000, the MFEs were 600,000, and yeah, 10 million in these. So I've got some power building up nicely now. The main reason I wanted to do all this and um, get it sorted and upgrade was because when I was trying to run all these machines with overclockers in and the quarries at the same time, I just wasn't getting enough and I didn't have enough stored up f through the day to like get me through the night and it, you know if I was running overclock machines and this it just wasn't happening all my quarry stuff every now and then I'd notice it wasn't coming through anymore and it would be because these had all run out because they, they just couldn't handle the multitasking but yeah now this all looks pretty good all I need to do really is test this put the last bit of wire in and see if the energy link is actually going to run off it because I believe it should do and then I should be good to go for quite a while I'll have enough energy building up to start running mass fabricator teleporters stuff like that so that'll be very cool yep yeah, there we go the energy links running off the high voltage power haven't bothered stepping it down yet but that will come at a later date but right um, one more thing I think I can fit into this video that I want to make now that I've got a lot more power uh, I'm fed up of like my armor and my uh, nano saber having to like run up and down the stairs charging them off of these things so uh, I'm gonna make something called a charging bench that basically has multiple slots on it for uh, putting multiple things in and charging all at the same time. There are three levels of the charging bench, the Mark 1, 2 and 3. Um, 
I'm just going to go straight for Mark III because I can quite easily build it with stuff I've got. But I'll show you the recipes for all three. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do next. Right, so I've got all the stuff I need. So, uh, <coughs> right, charging bench. Um, the different levels of them, they have more slots so you can charge more things. But they also will charge different things. I mean, the basic one, you can only charge a few simple things. But with the Mark II one, you can charge your nano suit. So I can use it for that. Um, you need a Mark III one to do the next level of industrial craft armour, which is the quantum armour, which I'll get onto at some point. But I need a mass fabricator first, so I'll show you all that good stuff at a later date. Um, but I'm just going to go straight for three anyway. To show you all the recipes, the uh, Mark I is just wooden planks and uninsulated copper cable. So that's very easy. The uninsulated cable, uh, in case I didn't show you it before, it's just copper across the middle without the rubber top and bottom and it will make uninsulated copper cables. Uh, the Mark II, you use gold cable instead of the copper and you use an electronic circuit. But for the Mark III you use high voltage cable and an advanced circuit with your planks. So if I use my uh, Philosopher's Stone to get a crafting bench up, first of all I'll make some of the high voltage cable stick that across the top, the advanced circuit and my wooden planks. So there we go, charging bench mark 3. So this is something I've never actually made before either, but I know I want one. Uh, the mark 3 charging bench will take high voltage as well, so I still don't need to use the transformers yet. Uh, it does go up in sequence, so the mark 1 is low voltage, mark 2 medium, and uh, yeah, so I can plug it straight in to this plumbing here that comes down from the high voltage solar array. So there we go. One Mark III charging bench. I see it's got upgrades and stuff. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so what I want to do, if I take off my nano suit, my uh, nano saber is pretty well charged at the moment. Don't need much help for that. But yeah, I can just whack all these in at once. They charge away nicely. Let's see how these are doing. Loads of power building up. They're probably all full already, to be honest, from the two uh, medium voltage into the MFEs, which is all good. So right, everything's fully charged. So, I think that's a good place to leave it for this video. Not make it too long, keep it a fairly small one. But yeah, so, my first ever high voltage solar array. I've had MFSUs before, but uh, I was just pairing them with uh, not as good solar panels. Uh, and my first Mark III charging bench. So, thanks for watching the video, hope it's been helpful. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.